What's up guys, I got so many questions about this that I thought I would just answer it separately. Tons of questions about the right dose of vitamin D and I wanted to break down why that's so important. So when it comes to the dose of vitamin D, I want you to think of vitamin D as a hormone. Think of it as a testosterone or an estrogen or a progesterone, okay? Uh, the reason I say that is because chemically, if you look at the structures, very similar to a hormone. Not just that, but vitamin D actually functions very similarly. It goes into the nucleus to activate gene expression. When you're activating gene expression at the level of the nucleus, you're functioning very similarly to a steroid hormone, which is what vitamin D literally looks like and acts like. And so also very similarly to hormones is the levels can be very high, very low, and they can actually be very toxic at high levels. For example, if your vitamin D levels greater than 100 it is a toxic level and it can be very harmful to the body. Similarly to the fact that too much testosterone or too much estrogen or progesterone for women is also toxic and harmful to the body. So that's the way I want you to think about it. And in the same way, just like we don't blindly give out testosterone to people and hope for the best, similarly, the same idea holds for vitamin D. It should be monitored very closely by your doctor. People metabolize vitamin D differently and people get different amounts of sunlight, and so it needs to be titrated very accordingly. And so you need a trained medical doctor in functional medicine who knows how to check your labs, understands hormone optimization, micronutrients, and vitamin levels, and how they should be optimized in the correct reference ranges. In this case, you want it to be around 60 to 80, and then have it monitored regularly. For example, in the summer where there's more sunlight, sometimes those dosages need to be adjusted so that it doesn't get to the toxic levels when people are exposed to a lot of sunlight. And so 2000 units might be the perfect dose for one person, but it might be completely toxic for the other. And so there's no way to just blindly guess a level to start everybody on. It, this is something that should be individualized based on your body, your needs, and your goals. Hope that helps. Take care.